my hero. Um, well, you know, depending on where you're at and who you feel comfortable reporting to, I think uh, you, if, if a voters do feel intimidated at the polls, they can reach out to local law enforcement, whether it's the police department in a jurisdiction or the sheriff's office. But if they're not comfortable do doing that, they can report to election officials, they can report to their secretary of state, and they can call the election protection hotline as well and report it there because people, including lawyers that man that hotline, will then make sure that that complaint is routed to the appropriate appropriate um, authorities in the jurisdiction. But if ever anyone feels in immediate danger, they should utilize 911. As far as the election workers themselves, what are they feeling as far as their personal safety? Yeah, I think some are really feeling very uh, concerned, and we've seen many of the polling places and the places where the election workers physically work, you know, putting up new security measures, um, not only, you know, sometimes fencing, different types of security guards, and I think that's important in some jurisdictions, and I think it's important to realize, you know, this is not just about between now and election day, because after that is the tabulation of the votes. And back in 2020, we saw some attacks on facilities where workers were tabulating votes. So we have to continue to stay vigilant, and that's, again, why I think it's very important. Don't go to the police as government. That's a museum. That's the Walking Dead. A zombie and vampire is going to get you in a bad way. Um, no one's making votes from the police museum. No, that's real. 